Okay, this video is for all people struggling with codependency, and you know my belief that it's about 90%, the largest addiction in the world, without a doubt, is codependency. But we've been taught all wrong how to deal with people in relationships when we're highly codependent with them. David Essel here, David Essel's Daily Video Boost. Remember to share these videos, they're absolutely free. And if you haven't signed up yet, go to talkdavid.com and you'll get one of these videos every day of the week, Monday through Friday, at no charge whatsoever. Take notes and do one thing today you'd rather not do. So just the other night in a, in a session, I work with a lot of people struggling in the world of codependency. And what does that mean? It means that they're dating or married to people who have addictions, dating or married to people who overspend, dating or married to people who overeat, dating or married to people that lie constantly, dating or married. Do you get it? So we're in this hellacious relationship. We're in a codependent relationship. We may be in it for two months or it might be 25, 30, 40, 50 years. And we've been told by very well-meaning organizations that have it 100% wrong that you should stay with someone that you love who's draining your bank account and creating all kinds of stress. That you should stay with people who struggle with addiction, who are rageaholics, alcoholics, drug addicts, etc., who are draining you of all emotional energy and sanity. We should stay with those people. And what do these great organizations like Al-Anon, etc., tell us to do? Mind your own business. Let your alcoholic husband or wife be an alcoholic husband or wife. Just don't try to save them or heal them. Go ahead and let your wife or your husband who's draining the bank accounts because of their spending addiction or gambling addiction, just let them do what they're supposed to do. Don't worry about them. You just take care of yourself. What a bunch of bullshit. Listen, these programs were created 80 years ago. They don't have a clue about reality anymore. Maybe they did the best they could 80 years ago, but it doesn't work. We have helped save so many people in regards to their own sanity by being teaching them how to do boundaries and consequences. What does that mean? I don't care how long you've been married to the alcoholic, food addict, spending addict, gambling addict, drug addict, I don't care how long you've been, you have to set boundaries or consequences. A real simple one is this. Honey, I love you very much. Would love to stay with you. I, I, there's just parts of you that are just absolutely awesome, but you're killing us. You're killing the family. You're killing me. You're killing our finances. So if over the next 90 days you go and get help and get clean and sober, we can stay together. If over the 90 days you can't, at the 90-day mark, you're moving out or I'm moving out. And I'm going to give you another 90 days to get it together. Now, we're talking about six months, right, all together. Three months, and then you separate, and you give them another three months. At the end of the second 90-day separation period, if you have not made significant progress with your addiction, our marriage is over, and I'm divorcing you. Our relationship is over, and I'm leaving you. Now, that's not brutal. It's not mean. It's not caustic. It's not self-centered. It's called reality. If you don't respect yourself enough, then you should be stuck in that kind of hellacious relationship. If you don't respect yourself enough, you should go through hell every day of your life. But if you want to become an independent person and learn what self-respect is and what self-love is, you'll learn how to set hard boundaries, hard consequences, and follow through with them. If you need help, email me at talkdavid.com. I'm not doing this to try to break up every relationship in the world. I'm doing it to try to save your life and your children's life if there's children in it. You don't need to be wrapped up in chaos and drama anymore. You should believe that you deserve more than that. If I can help you, go to talkdavid.com, send me an email. You and I will kick butt together like we have for the past 30 years, okay? And share these videos. We've got to get the correct messages out today so people can be happy and free. Everyone deserves that. I'm David Essel.